Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. And man, I got an epic vintage toy hunt adventure for you guys today. We're going to be hitting up some thrift stores. We're going to be hitting up Ross. We're in search of vintage goodies and I'm in search of some Masters of the Universe animated series that have been hitting Ross shelves over the last couple of weeks. At least that's the word on the street. So I have found a couple of those in the past during the Christmas holidays. And uh, it's a really cool collection uh, line of toys. And at first I wasn't all that thrilled with them when I first saw them like at Walmart and stuff like that when they first came out. But when I picked some up over the holidays, I was like, hey, this line's actually pretty cool. So I'm in search of some of those. And I've also been hearing that Dracula and the Wolfman have also been hitting the Ross shelf. So I'm excited for today's episode. I hope you are too. If you are, hit the like button and then let's roll out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Okie dokie, hokey pokies. Let's see if there's any goodies on the shelf. Nothing over here. Looks like a little play set. That's cool. I like little play sets like that. And this is where they keep all the girl stuff on this side. I do like how they separate everything here in the store. Who's this? Is this John White? No, who is that? Is that Douglas MacArthur, maybe? Hmm, $6.99. He's got his hat, at least. I don't know. I might grab him. All right, over here we got a bunch of vehicles. Maybe we'll get lucky and spot a G.I. Joe vehicle, but I don't think that's going to happen because I ain't seeing nothing. Oh, wow, check these out. It's like a Halloween bucket, maybe. It's definitely some sort of bucket. That's pretty cool. I only want $3 each for those. Dang, these things are selling for like 20 bucks a pop. All right, let's see, what do we got in the bags? There's a Batman, speaking of Batman. I don't know who that little dude is, but he's kind of cool. We got a Superman in here, and then whoever this chick is. Looks like we got some, maybe Power Ranger stuff. Oh, we got Red Skull, and then some sort of, I think, Power Rangers, like Imagine X figure. Hey, it's Sherman. Actually, I take that back. Um, there were a bunch of these, I thought there were a bunch of these listed on eBay, but it turns out they were slightly different. This one did sell for 20 bucks, but there's only been like one or two sold in the last 90 days. So I was going to get all three of these and maybe try flipping them, but I think I'll just hold off and leave them here for a Batman fan. Well, it turns out it wasn't General Douglas MacArthur. It wasn't Big Mac. It was General Dwight D. Eisenhower, President Eisenhower. Everybody likes Ike was the slogan for his presidential campaign. So, but yeah, how cool is this thing? So uh, I've had a few of these in the past. I've had a, um, uh, a Groucho Marx. I've had a, uh, Di not Dizzy Gillespie. What was his name? The jazz player. Maybe it was Dizzy. I don't know. But anyway, I've had a few of these uh, action figures. These are not dolls. They're action figures, although this one is kind of like a doll. But uh, we'll stick with action figure, you know, for uh, for masculinity's sake. So, but anyway, uh, really cool figure. He is a four-star general and very, very pleased to be adding him to the collection. So, all right, guys, let's go hit up another thrift store. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at that world-famous Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. Let's check it out. This Goodwill's toy section is always weak. Oh, there's Steven. 
Steven Universe. I wonder if this is worth any money. This could be worth some money. Oh, there's a Pac-Man plush too. All right, I'm gonna check on old Stevie boy here. Oh, but look at this. I was just about to say, this Goodwill never has any toys. Check out this alien. What do they want for that? $7.99, ugh. That's kind of pricey. Look at that axe. Thing's heavy too. It takes batteries or something. That's pretty cool, but I don't know if I wanna spend eight bucks on that. Well, he's selling for like 10 to 15 bucks. They want $4 for him. I don't know if Caroline might be interested in having him as a plush because this is another show we used to watch all the time when she was little. All right, I'm gonna think about whether or not I'm gonna get him and also gonna think about this. Oh, snap, <laughs> this dude's selling for like 50 bucks, 40 to 50, so. Yeah, for $8, I'll get it. Oh, we got a Sylvester, like, beanie plush. Who's this made by? Play by Play. That's kind of cool. And uh, we got a Hot Wheels. We've got a Ghost Spider. We've got an LGBTQ plus minus R, X, Y, Z, K, L, M, N, O, P, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I don't know how I missed this earlier. Look at this Fortnite thing. Just noticed this about Stephen too. I was like, I wonder if he has his gem, his belly button gem. And there it is right there. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, I'm going to get him. I'm going to pick him up for Caroline. Man, I can't even tell you the last time I scored anything significant out of this goodie wheel. So it was a real pleasure seeing this alien figure and Steven Universe. Now, uh, the... Uh, the downside to getting the Steven is that I thought Caroline would want him, but she thought he was too creepy looking, so she wanted nothing to do with him. So chances are he's going to make it over to my eBay store. I'll put a link in the comments below. If anybody wants to pick up a Steven Universe, I'll give you a good deal on it. So in the meantime, let's do some show and tell. All right, check these guys out. So we've got Stevie Wonder <laughs> over here, old Steven Universe, and... uh like I said, he even has like his little gem here in his belly button. But yeah, Caroline didn't like him. She was like, he looks weird, dad. He looks creepy. So now that I'm kind of looking at him, he does look a little creepy. But I'm sure somebody out there is going to love him, right? Somebody wants to give Steve a good home. So again, I have the link to his listing in the comments below inside my eBay store. So if anybody wants them and pick them up and then we got this man this warrior alien vicious alien attacker is what it says but check this thing out and it's actually worth a little kiggity cash let's flip it around and take a look at some of the other alien versus predator line that we've got going on here we've got some aliens i guess this is the line that uh, our figure belongs to and then we've got this predator line down here. And then, uh, oh, I actually have this mech suit. Well, maybe not this exact one, but uh, I've, got, I've got the vintage one. So, but yeah, this thing is pretty awesome, guys. And I'm just trying to decide whether or not I wanna keep it or I wanna sell it or I wanna trade somebody something for it i don't know yet i'm still making some decisions if i do trade it will uh the the, the gang members in my goody will gang facebook group the official gang members will get first dibs on it so i may post it up in there i don't know making some decisions but yeah how cool are these finds can't believe we actually got these out of a goody will that i never score out of all right now that we got a few scores under the old belt Let's head off to another thrift store. Let's go hit up Thrift Shitty, baby. All right, here we are at the game section. I always look for vintage games here. Pokemon Labyrinth. I think I saw that the last time I was here. 
I don't know if there's anything new or not. What's this mastermind for kids? There's a beauty in the beast. That's a Beauty and the Beast puzzle. It's not a game, it's a puzzle. What's this? Nick at Night. Who remembers Nick at Night? Oh my gosh, the Undertaker is still here. He's missing his legs. This is Lieutenant Dan Undertaker, but I'm assuming he's been here for about a month or longer. I'm guessing it's because he's missing his legs. Nobody wants them. You could put them in quicksand, you know? Put them and make them part of a diorama. Man, Nick at Night. What a throwback, man. Like, I miss Nick at Night. Don't you guys miss Nick at Night? Put in the comments below. I miss Nick at Night if you miss Nick at Night. So, all right, up next, let's go hit up some Ross. Like I said, I'm on the hunt for these uh, uh, Universal monsters that I've heard been hitting shelves, uh, Wolfman and Dracula. Uh, heard rumors that they were hitting shelves back in December, but didn't never found them. Uh, but I did get Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein and uh, the Invisible Man and, I, and the uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. So I got some of those figures, but uh, still have to get two more to complete this series, Dracula and the Wolfman. But my main, my main focus right now are these Masters of the Universe figures. So let's have, head on over to Ross and see what we can find. Okay, so we got some He-Man stuff here, but not what I need. I already have that. So let's see, we need some He-Man, maybe some Dracula, Wolfman. What's this here? Oh, nice. I just got the Wolfman, baby. All right, that is sweet. That's Jiggy Jazz worthy right there. On that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on the jazz, man. He's on the Jiggy Jazz. Now I, all I need is the Dracula, so to keep an eye out for him who knows maybe he's here in the store let's look around hmm what's this over here hunters unfortunately no masters of the universe but but oh baby we got us a wolf man, which means I only have one more figure to get to complete this series, and that is the Dracula. In the meantime, let's take a look at old Wolfie and some of his friends. Oh my God, these figures look so good. So good. So here he is, the wolf man. How awesome is he? I was looking for him back in December when I first heard rumors of him hitting the shelves, but just never came across him or Dracula. So now I gotta stay on the hunt for old Dracky. But uh, here are some of the other figures. We've got the Invisible Man. We've got the Creature from the Black Lagoon. And then over here, we've got Frankie. And then we've got Bride of Frankie. Man, I love the face sculpt. Look how real her face looks. I mean, these figures are very, very well done, man. Like, just absolutely stunning figures. And super excited to be adding these, uh, the Wolfman to the collection here. And hopefully, Dracula very soon. All right, gang, we got one more stop on the agenda, the Goody Wheel. Now, I'm heading back to a Goody Wheel that I was at a few days ago, and I saw some of these... Uh, like vintage, I, well, not really vintage because it's like from the mid 2000s, like 2004, 5, 6, like in that area. But it was a, a, an old Imaginext dinosaur play set. And uh, they had a big box of, um, a big box filled with all the pieces to this play set. Now, I don't know if all the pieces are there. It seemed like they would have been. And they only wanted like seven or eight dollars for the whole box, but. Nicole was with me the other day, and when I saw it, I was like, man, she'll kill me if I bring this out to the car. So, like, I left it and then uh, decided I wanted to go back and see if uh, if it was still there. And if it was, 
I'm gonna pick it up. So let's head on over oh, head on over to the goodie wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. <laughs> I do that all the time. I go to open the door to get out and then I let go of the handle and the door locks up. Anyway, we are here at the Goodie Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goodie Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully, those Imaginex caveman pieces are still here. If they're not, no biggie. But if they are, I'm definitely going to grab them. All right, gang, moment of truth. All right, the box is still here. So here's the big box I looked at last night. Now let's see. The gears are still in here. Oh yeah. Nice set. Yeah, I don't want this. All right, where do I get this whole box? I think it's like eight ninety nine. All right, let's make sure we got all the pieces to it. So I'm gonna look around on the shelves here. Just in case some kids or even adults took stuff out and laid it somewhere else. We gotta make sure we get it all. Oh, there's a Bratz doll. Joker mobile. Oh, check this out. I've got some puzzles. What do they want for those? These are vintage. Five ninety nine. dollars well, that's a TJ Maxx price. I don't know if I see a Goodwill price on there. Yeah, that's the TJ Maxx price, but does this one have a Goodwill price on it? Probably need to make sure that all the pieces are there. Oh, it's like a box full of blind boxes for a buck ninety-nine. Oh, that looks fun. I'll grab that. And then what's this? Chicken versus hot dog. <laughs> Never heard of it. Kind of looks like a you know what. <laughs> what the? Oh, I just snorted. <laughs> it was that funny. It made me snort. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna get this, but this is just making me laugh. I mean, look at this thing. Like, here's a big black one. <laughs> My mind is being dirty right now. Man, gang, we lucked out. So that playset is called the Imaginex T-Rex, the Imaginex T-Rex Mountain Playset. And it's pretty awesome. So uh, the it was there. I think the, I think for the most part everything is there. It looked like all the pieces. I looked it up online and kind of was like kind of looking what was in the bucket and the, some of the pictures I saw online. And it looks like most of it's there. If it is missing missing anything, it's missing very very little. So let's do some show and tell. Wow, guys, I gotta tell you, this thing took a long time to put together. <laughs> I had to like go watch some YouTube videos and try to piece this thing. There were no instructions with it. And uh, the videos that I watched really weren't all that great. And I did end up breaking a few pieces, like some very thin plastic pieces like snapped off. So I had to glue some things together with super glue, but check this thing out. I mean, one of the things I love is just like these vintage dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, look how awesome these guys are. Now these guys don't come with the playset originally. These are just some random vintage dinos that were in the bucket, but you guys know how I am about vintage dinos like this. These are the dinos that I played with when I was a kid, you know? This is what they look like. They didn't look like the Jurassic Park stuff and Jurassic World that we see today in stores. We had us 80s kids. This is what we had. You know, we had these kinds of dinos. But and I don't know what this thing is. It's like, I don't know, some sort of like blobby octopus. I don't know, made out of tar. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. But check out the vintage crocodiles, man. So freaking cool. So 
It's got some little action features, so you can like, um, let's just push him that. So, you know, now he's like trapped back there or he's either, you know, trapped or protected from being eaten by these dinosaurs. Um, we've got this little ball thing right here, this little, you know, you can flip that. Yeah, it doesn't actually work that well, but um, you can bend that back and kind of like catapult. It's like a little catapult, you can catapult this ball. You can also put this ball up here and it should roll all the way to the bottom here. And then you can release this down. And uh, this is in the way. Yeah. So, but, uh, and then this piece right here, I think, oh, actually, yeah, let's, let's do this. I think you push in on that and that falls down. So you can actually send a ball down there as well. Or one of your guys can, uh, uh, by the way, like, check this out. This guy's got, like, this little head mask, which I think is really cool. But um, you can, there's, like, a little trap door, and it can come shooting out right there. So really, really neat play set. Uh, play set. And uh, it does take up a good bit of space, so I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it, but I am digging it. It, it isn't something that I think I would be uh, selling like on eBay or anything like that at this point, especially since I've broken some pieces and I've glued some of the stuff together. But if I do decide to sell it down the road, it might be a Facebook marketplace deal, you know. But man, for right now, I'm going to keep it. I think it's pretty awesome. So as you saw, I got the playset, which is pretty cool. And then I also picked up this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles giant shaped floor puzzle. So I did leave the other one behind because it was damaged, but I did pick this one up. Really dig the box art on it. Um, colorful, love that, love that lime green, just so cool. But hey, if you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you wanna watch more videos just like this, then check out this next video.